Hey there, and welcome to The Cozy Corner, a podcast about all things cozy. Join us as we dive into the world of film and TV, a little true crime and spooky time, food reviews, and talk to some special guests too. So get cozy, grab some snacks, and settle in, because we're about to begin. Hello listeners, Emily here. Just thought I'd pop on before we begin. I wanted to give a quick note and say that we did encounter an issue with the mics for our first record. We are new, so this is a learning curve, you know. We gotta mess up to be able to figure out how to do this properly and that's what we're doing and we're bringing you along with us. So please forgive us. Um, Abby's mic didn't fully record properly, although you can still hear her, so it's fine. We're going to go with it. Um, but yes, please enjoy the following episodes and know that we have actually fixed it now. So the episodes that come after these episodes will be fine. Thanks for listening. So hello and welcome to our very first episode yeah. of Cozy Corner Podcast. This is going to be like a little get to know us episode where you can learn more about your new favourite podcast hosts, hopefully. Yeah, um, and Abby. Yes. Or you can call me M if you like. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, and um, you can call me either Abby or Ab. I'm happy with yeah. that. Um, so we're going to get started and we're going to talk a little bit about just who we are yeah, and what we, we are, do. What we do, what we like, yeah. where we go. And we've got a little Hot game news. to play as well called This or That. So stay tuned. Yeah. But before we get into that, we need to do a little cozy check. I'll be oh, cozy. Yeah, I've got my hot chocolate. I've got my blanket. Yeah, we've got some lovely yeah. hot chocolates. We're about to um, do the little toppings and all that yeah. with those. So make sure if you guys listening at home, you want to get cozy, get yourself a nice little hot drink. Yeah. You know, go pause this, go make a hot chocolate, or better yeah, listen to it while you're making a hot chocolate. Yeah. You know, that's a life hack. And settle in, get cozy, and enjoy this episode. Um, but what we're going to do is make our hot chocolates yeah. properly and i'll pass you the little marshmallows for you okay. to go first but for our little cozy check right um also just top tip don't open that right next to the mic no. we viewers will tune out <laughs> <laughs> they will I, not want to like hear I that so <laughs> yeah don't open it like directly oh, yes. <laughs> yeah that's better um it will deafen our listeners before we even begin. Is that okay like that? That's fine, yes. Um. So, what was I saying? I got distracted by the marshmallows there. That we were doing a cosy check. Oh, cosy check. So I've got a nice little cosy cardigan on. I've got cosy socks. I've got oh, a cosy blanket. Uh, we've got some hot chocolates. So I'm feeling cosy, but what about you? I'm feeling definitely cosy. Yours. Blankets and hot chocolate right up my street. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but you should really put the marshmallows in before you do the cream. Yeah. Like, yeah. because then. Melts in with yes. It. So, yeah, it will melt in. Also, sprinkles if you want sprinkles. Have sprinkles. But we'll do that with the cream. Okay. So I'm going to do some cream. I love that we're doing this yeah. on the podcast. Well, like, we're bringing you guys cream. along for everything. <laughs> of course you've got your vegan cream yeah my favorite can't forget cream about that you. now here's some asmr for you there you go <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Now, I might have gone a little bit overboard with the cream. <laughs> I don't think so, though. Mm. I think the, the cream is the best part. Yeah, definitely. I think so. So, while you're oh, finishing off... Sprinkles. No. While you're finishing off um, decorating that, <laughs> um, I was thinking... Yeah. Shall we tell our audience a little bit about what we do? Yeah, so... So, 
your day job is my day job is basically a professional pine pourer so when you go the <laughs> so we're just doing teamwork yeah <laughs> go on when you go to watch the match at the pub or you go out for a drink with your friends or family and the one stand up with the behind the bar pouring them pints so that's what i do i've been in my job for about five years now and it has its ups and downs but mm. mostly it has its ups because i like the people i work with yeah so we're almost like a little work family so I love that. It's nice. What about you, Antel? Well, I'm a journalist. I used to work for Liverpool Echo, but now I work for their parent company called Reach. Yeah. Um, senior journalist now. Just passed. <laughs> just passed. So now I know a little bit about the law. Pardon me about the law, about media law, and uh, what not to do. And uh, yet, it's definitely helped fuel my true crime addiction. Learning yeah. about that side of, of journalism, I've, I've, you know enjoyed that a little bit probably more than what I should have <laughs> I think that's the only reason why I passed yeah, it was crime the true crime well. element yeah. really um but yeah I've worked on things like Eurovision and lots of different things like luckily I've been able to interview the likes of Stephen Graham yeah and Michael Rooker yeah. and Comic-Con. yeah we've covered yeah. Comic-Con and stuff yeah, like that um and you've been my glamorous assistant I on have. many occasions I basically helped you out to cover con basically oh yeah i couldn't have done it without you basically yeah. work for the echo but not employed but they either. didn't really know it yeah, yeah they so didn't they realize yeah. that don't you were helping anyone. me <laughs> yeah don't tell anyone Shh, don't tell anyone um no but you you've always helped me out with that yeah. um so we've worked together closely to be honest whenever i've done jobs like that it's just always felt like we've worked together yeah, on it as well like it's so good yeah um and We've, we've covered like loads of things like oh yeah it's not even like working at comic con we've went to events together yeah because we both sort of bloggers as well we get invited to things or things, yes and we've been to quite a few things yeah in we? our spare time hobby yeah. wise we're both foodies we're yeah. bloggers we love creating content yeah and we regularly go to different like blogger events in Liverpool. Yeah. So we're always out and about. Um and, and there's just it's a big food community in it Liverpool. Is, definitely. It's big. Like there's so many different restaurants, so many different events going on. Yeah. So it's it's a there's thriving scene. Going on. Yeah. There there always yeah. is. So we kind of though our our story of how we met. It's probably a bit different yeah, though isn't it to, to what other people would have yeah because we didn't meet in person no we met where did we meet on bumble oh god yeah we did and then we were both yeah. going to the same event but it? not bumble it? No, like bumble like bumble. bumble it was bff bumble where we met and yeah it wasn't really expected because i just kind of downloaded it thinking no. oh, i, I want to find like you know a like different a, friend yeah, because- just want to find, like, I want to find more yeah. friends because I That's have a it. very limited friend circle. Yeah. I have, I have two. my bestie Louisa, yeah. and then I've got like work friends like Alice who yeah. did the jingle. Shout out to yeah, Alice, she out did out a lovely jingle. jingle. Um, so I became close with her through work, and I've just you know made a lot of friends through work and all that. Yeah, but I don't really have any home friends. Yeah, no, I I'm mm-hmm. literally the same. I mean, I've got my bestie Lou, yeah. but like, you know, would our schedules don't always align. So there was a point where I was like, okay, I need to find another friend. So I went on Bumble BFF, and literally within like two days, I got a match because I, you do that whole thing where you like swipe right or whatever. It's a bit like Tinder, but it was for BFF. And I read your profile, and I was like, she likes Marvel <laughs> and Doctor Who. And she's a foodie. I was like, I'm in. So I swiped on you. Yeah. And then it came up like, I think it was like an hour later or so. Yeah. Like, saying that you'd, you'd match with me as well. And then we did. We went to that um, backyard, didn't we? Was that the first one? Yeah. Because we went to that mm. match, didn't we, for some food. Mm. We met there and then we went to the bloggers event. At... Was that the first time we met up? Yeah. And then I think okay. the second one, we went to see like a film. Can't yeah, because I've like... just started working for the Liverpool Echo. No, you were waiting. I was waiting back. to hear back. 
Yeah. Then I started working for them. Yeah. Um, around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Then we went to a bloggers event at Backyard, but we went for something sweet beforehand. Yeah. Didn't we? And that was like our first time really yeah. seeing each other because we talked a lot. That's it. But it what like considering what we do and all that, I would have thought we'd run into each other beforehand. Yeah. So it felt like weird. Before. Yeah, I really would have thought we would have crossed paths, considering we're both foodies, we're both yeah. content creators. Like, we're already in those in that, circles. Yeah, like that in not industry, but that sort of. That how? Yeah. Did we not come across each other? I literally don't know. <laughs> like, it is weird. But it's kind of nice that we wanted more friends and then found a friend. Though, yeah. You know, so I kind of like that. And then to be fair, like. We just go to places all the time now, don't we? Yeah. Like, we go to like food, a cinema. We're on well, each cinema. of us go to for like yeah, that's it. food, movies, yeah. stuff like and that, then, especially Marvel. Yeah, honestly, we are big Marvel fans. Yeah. We love Marvel. We love Marvel. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Like, we're crazy I'm for that. I'm having a Doctor Who party for mm -hmm. my 30th in April. And yes. I cannot wait. I've been thinking about that because yeah. I was considering um rose wasn't i yeah. for a little bit and then because i already had the costume for sylvie i was like but then we were like well no that's loki that's not doctor who because for a minute i completely forgot that it was doctor who themed yeah and i was like oh i'll go with sylvie and you're like it's doctor who themed i was like oh <laughs> so i'm not sure who to go as i'm struggling and then literally the other day i was like guess that I'll just go as Cassandra. No, that's too hard. <laughs> that's too hard. Too much commitment. Yeah, that's no. like I know. Maybe I should just have a talk with moisturize me on it. Do you know what? You don't even need to dress up him. Just come in like I Cassandra. want to though. You want to. I love it. I yeah. mean, you know me, I love like Comic Con and all that. We need so um, we I wanna need do to it. Get a sort of like brainstorm. Yeah. You guys want us. Because I'm going to see Eleven of Doctor, but like my favorite you software. already have the costume i already have so the costume guys that's not you know yeah. a difficult decision <laughs> if it was marvel themed i've already got two costumes yeah you've got one then it's Sylvie. yeah so you know, I know I should have done marvel, no but I love doctor who it's got a special place in your heart it that. Has. it's got a very special place in my heart so i get it i'm thinking rose but yeah because i'm like she's easy jeans and it's hot really yeah, isn't it like <laughs> You've but, had the hair for it as well, like the same. Well, she's much blonder. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Really... I'm more of a, a brown blonde. Yeah. You know, a little yeah. bit of blonde, but mostly brown. So, mm, yeah, pass. We've got three months now. I'm not going to dye me hair. No. <laughs> three I love you, like but not that time. much. So, like, this time. Wait a minute. Got three months. You can find a good <laughs> hair dye. <laughs> yeah. I don't imagine. Yeah, I'll just tie me here for that night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we've got three months for you to like come up with an idea now. Mm. Like, I've got, I've got a cake stand, like a damn dollar cake stand, cupcakes, to making cupcakes, oh. and it's like massive. But I feel like we should save this for the Doctor Who app. Yes. yes so, we shall. should we talk yes. about like some of our events like, that we've been to? So, yeah. it's like Comic Con. Comic yeah. Con, we love Comic Con. We love Comic Con. We love go to Liverpool Comic Con every time. Now I go mainly because yeah. I cover it often yeah. for Liverpool Echo. But since I've moved to the parent company of Liverpool Echo Reach, I don't really do that as much yeah. now. So I I just gonna go as you know a regular yeah. person, which for me is odd. Yeah. I I don't think You've I've really been, been to Comic Con. Yeah. You know, not You've always have the commitment. Not to as wear. a normal person. <laughs> but this is your first time. So this will this will be fun. This will be fun because the last Comic Con that we did, I went as reporter Barbie. Yeah, and I went as bartender Barbie because we decided to go to our job. Well, we? Barbie was a big it was craze. A big you know, because it it was in October and Barbie yeah. not Barbie long come out. Yeah, Barbie and yeah. was happening. So oh, we had to go with that, didn't we? We did. You have to. Yeah, but was, what is it? It Barbara was, it was the Barbara Hammer and the Saw Patrol craze. <laughs> Saw 10 come out and um, Paw Patrol film at the same time as well. Jeez. It was a crazy time. It was a crazy time, but a good time. The zeitgeist. Yeah. Crazy. 
crazy guitar. It was, but <laughs> I I really enjoyed that Comic Con. Hi, um, oh, because we went to, we went. To, do you know what we dust on duos, didn't we? Because yeah. we doubled as um, Loki and President. I was a President Loki on a Sunday. Yeah, so we went both went days. Yeah. Yeah, for the first day, that was when I was working for the Echo, wasn't yeah. I? So that was for, I went as Barbie, you were bartender Barbie. Yeah. I was mainly working the event. You were my glamorous assistant. I was. Alice was also there. She was filming stuff and we worked together. She also went as Ken. So that that was, <laughs> I that. we were so, we, trio, we were we? so on theme. Yeah. Like we were so on theme. Um yeah, she's cool. Shout out to Alice. Like yeah. you know, she made this amazing jingle for us. She like did. shout out to Alice. Put Thank some you. love in the comments. She yeah. she deserves it. And she um does. yeah, we had a great time. Like, and that was your first time meeting Alice. Yeah. And obviously, we tell each other all about each other's jobs. I know yeah. about all the characters from your workplace. Yeah. You know about all the characters from mine. So you actually got to meet yeah, someone. someone who I've talked about a lot. Yeah. And yeah, that just felt like wow, worlds colliding. Yeah. I've got, it did. You know, me foodie bestie, me work bestie. <laughs> it was great. And we had a great time working together for that stuff. And we were so close to getting an interview with Gwendolyn Christie. Oh no. Oh, so, so close. close. And Simon Pegg. I know, he was just far too busy, it didn't be the, signed. It just couldn't happen. Yeah. They were overbooked. And yeah. it was crazy, so it, it couldn't happen. We ended up staying till about eight o'clock on the Sunday, didn't she? Eight thirty. Was it eight thirty? Yeah, PM. I like, my home yeah. On Carter, yes, was that was that was a crazy one. That was that, that like was, two hours in the queue. Yeah, my. I I was twenty to two, but being thick as I am, I had a <laughs> thick moment. I read that it said the number one forty. I read that as twenty to one. So we went and they were like, there's no 20 to 1 time slot. So what was I like, Emily? My face drowned. In and it. what was it? What was the time? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and he was like, come back at 2 o'clock. <laughs> she's two hours behind. She's an hour behind. Come back at 2 o'clock. So I did. And then he just put me in this room. And then I was like gone for two hours. Because yeah, I, I asked, can I queue with you? Yeah. And he was like, no. And it, well, the guy was like, Oh, I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem. And then, and then the other people were like, no. "No," I was like, "But she's a bit anxious because was, it's a big moment." I was extremely anxious. Like she prefer me like, to be yeah. with her, and what I was, was like, like when I came out "Yeah, her, well, I it was is like, nerve wracking sometimes, yeah, you know." I was nearly crying. So, like, I can understand yeah. being. I would, you know, if I was like meeting Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like. I would be nervous. Yeah. Like I'd be excited, but you, you'd be nervous too. Exactly. You know, because you're a fan of that person. Yeah. So of it's course, like it means me it means a lot to yeah. you. So but then honestly, shout out to Helena Bonaparte as well. She was she so is nice. generally the loveliest person mm. you'll ever meet. And there was a lot of controversy while yeah. you were in that queue of people online saying that she's not allowed to yeah. touch people or get close, and there has to be a gap. The queue, there was a man shouting, like, yeah. stand on the cross, please, stand on the cross, because they had, like, two crosses, where she stood and where you stood. And Which it, is standard for standard. Comic-Cons. That's not just but it. That's it. But then he was like, shout, please don't shout. Mm. Can I go in? Please don't shout. And I think he saw that I was nervous, because he went, can you please just stand It's on not the a cross? nice environment. So I, I was just like, really sorry but i was like i really wanted to do the hard thing yeah so i was like can we do the hard but i was shaking yeah because you so, wanted to try and get yeah. her to do that pose and she did bless her would she come over she put her hand on my shoulder and was like it's okay we, you know don't worry and then she, we can do the hard thing and she like moved closer to me and then i was just like oh my god thank you but i was literally like when to say you're my favorite actress i just went okay you're my favorite thank you bye and then walked out i was like oh my you're God. my favorite yeah you're my favorite and i was like oh but i have got my photo with her in the fridge well i think that's worth it yeah. i mean it can be a stressful experience yeah it can i mean i got um from like other comic cons i don't think did i get any photos of that comic con i don't think i did oh, no. I don't think you did. Not did. at that one, but the one before. But I have where, done with yeah, um, Michelle Gomez. Gomez. Yeah. She was lovely. You got a photo of her daughter? Yeah. She was very nice. She was lovely. She was 
she's very Scottish and she very was like, Scottish. I can't do a Scottish accent, but she was like, Oh, hello, Sabrina. Like, because oh, I was dressed as Sabrina. Yeah. And I... she immediately recognized that I was dressed yeah. as Sabrina. And when we oh, went home, I said, yeah. um, I am, um, what did I say? I was like, Oh, thank you so much. And then she was just like, Oh, you're welcome. You both look so good. Mm. And I was like, Thanks. Have a good day. She but was she really was so nice. Lovely. She was. Um, yeah, we but yeah we've yeah, done like a lot of different like photo ops and all that with people but i think we mainly just go to comic-con for the vibes definitely for the like the, the community the, props, mm. the cosplayers yeah you know it's like a little thrill when you see someone dressed up as a, from a program that you really love or yeah. a film that you really love because i am forever and you're forever comic-con like oh there's someone from marvel there's someone from that group, yeah. you know people so go is. all out and they have yeah. obviously that cosplay competition as well yeah it's crazy the dedication yeah. i mean do you remember when um, we got to interview michael rucker which was yeah. amazing i mean yondu from guardians of the galaxy oh, so that, oh, that, was, that so was great he was a really cool guy he was he was like, so chill and he actually yeah. said that liverpool felt like home to him yes, he felt him. like he'd been here before but he was told he hadn't been and he was like are you sure and i was dressed as wanda but he couldn't work out who i was he was like so who are you meant to be and i was like wanda. i'm wanda i'm from the same universe as your character like you should know me but he was like well you're making a good first impression Oh, bless him. He was so, he was, he nice, was so nice and cool. But he couldn't he? understand my accent very well. No. And I don't even think I'm that scout. I was just stood filming it, wasn't I? And he kept going like, look, you're going to have to say that again. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> he was so cool. And the question was, how are you enjoying Liverpool Comic Con? Yeah. And he was like, you're not even like. Don't even know what you're saying. You're not even like, you don't even sound like I'm the not that scout, no. Yeah. I'm. Um, because I live yeah. slightly outside of Liverpool, like the city centre. So I'm a little bit outside there. Yeah, but, you're still, but it's slight. Still Liverpool. Yeah, it's still, yeah. it's Merseyside. Yeah, it's Merseyside. So I've still got, to anyone else not from Liverpool, a sound scouse. Yeah. But in Liverpool, you're like a but like, scouse. Scouse go with that. or a plastic scouser, as people no. call me, or no. a wall. Mm. No, I don't like no. that. No. I think house. I've got a Liverpool accent. You are. I think it might be a bit of a stretch to say it's a Scouse accent. Yeah, you've got a Liverpool accent. Of course, yeah. Liverpool Scouse accent. Thanks. Nothing with that. All the comments on the Echo used to be, "Who's this plastic Scouser? Oh, no. Get this plazzy Scouser off. And I'm like, so rude. Look, I'm from Neverton, which is basically yeah. Bootle. And Bootle is Scouse. It is. Like, come on. I think it's it is anyway. Cool. But yeah, apparently the colour of, of your bin decides how scouse you are. Yeah, my bin. I don't even purple. I don't even know what colour my bin is. <laughs> I think I've got a purple, a grey, and a blue. Oh, I don't know what I've got. <laughs> I know I've got a green, a brown, and a grey. Yeah, is your grey? So what does that mean? No. The browns that are recycling. Oh no, that's weird. Well, I feel like brown suits are brown for cardboard. No, you like, know, like, car like I don't know. Purple for rubbish and then blue for outside garden. Like your garden. The green is the garden for me. No. See, this is where we Grey is normal bin. No, really? Yes, grey is normal rubbish. No. Recycling is brown. And then green is like garden stuff. Green for garden. you got to agree that makes more sense. It does make more sense. But honestly, <laughs> Man, well, blue. it's weird. Sorry. It is. It's in front of the city. It's in yeah. part of the city. Well, let us know in the comments who's more scouse. Who's more scouse? Me or Abby? What because, colour are your bins? Yeah, what colour are your bins? <laughs> and how scouse are you? Yeah. Because I don't I'm think scouse. the colour of your bin should determine how scouse you are. Okay, it's just like, but that's the I don't think so. The, like, scouses have, isn't yeah. it? And it, it's fun. I love it. I've had someone for the first time meet me and go, like I'm so and so. Um, where are you from? What colour's your bin? <laughs> it's like, and that was the first introduction of of yeah. the whole what colour's your bin thing. It's I was like, like hang on, why do you want to know my bin yeah, colour? Why do you want to know what colour? Why my is bin? my That's so weird. And then he was like, 
Well, you're not Scouse if you don't have a purple bin. <laughs> Sorry. I have a what? Yeah, apparently you're you're Scouse then. If you've got a purple bin, you're Scouse. Nah, it is weird. It is. It's like I feel like I'm out of Liverpool when like the bus stops aren't yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, where am I? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know whether we've even said this, but we are from Liverpool. Yeah. In case we haven't said that yeah, at the Liverpool. start of the podcast, this is a Liverpoolian podcast. Yeah. Um, although nothing to do with football. Now and again, Abby might keep us updated on yeah. how Everton are doing. I yeah. don't keep up with it. I haven't we got a clue. To, we drew 2-2 two, two yesterday against Spurs. We got a okay. point, so we're taking that. Is that good? Yeah, we got a point. Great. We're slightly okay. above the relegation as well, and we're playing Man City on Saturday. Not a clue what that means. Okay. Okay. Uh, the only football that I know about is Wrexham, because I Ryan Reynolds. Well, I'm going to do a little episode yeah. about football, and I'll get my friend Kate on. And I can yeah, report on yeah. Wrexham. That's it. Because I have. know about them. And I've watched all of that Welcome to Wrexham thing on oh, Disney+. Yeah. Plus. It's great. Is it? It's a really good feel, feel good story of like yeah. watching this team come together, the fandom around the community, everyone oh, really yeah. rallies around, yeah. you know, and the community, they were a bit unsure about Ryan Reynolds oh. and, and his friend, whose name I can't remember, but he's in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Rob Mackle, uh, yeah, Micklehenny, I yeah. Micklehenny, yeah. yeah. Um, like, they were all oh don't know yeah these big fancy hollywood people that is no. going to ruin it but actually they all got on board in the end yeah. and it's they're doing it good they're doing good yeah, yeah. Oh, so cool. i've been enjoying that and yeah. um, but speaking of tv shows yeah shall we talk a little bit about what our favorite tv shows are yes. we'll just we'll I go into detail we'll just list a little bit topics to talk about films and tv Go on. obviously the yeah. tv show doctor who mm-hmm. obviously it's one of my favorites yeah. i love it I have so many favourites, so why can't pick an actual favourite? Do you know what? I'll literally say now, I am more of a film person than a TV show person. I'm more of a TV show yeah, person, yeah. But that's good because we tell each other mm. about things, you know. Yeah. So, Doctor Who, I love Sherlock as well. Oh, I used to love oh, that. I brilliant. used to love Sherlock. The last season, I felt mm, wasn't doing quite hit. Did, like when they done the Indominal Bride. No. I felt like when they went back into the yeah. past, that, that ruined it for me. Wasn't and it? Made off wasn't mysteries. It? Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, Have I heard of like that? A, it basically, it's a new, new like, one, not to me. It, it, like in the 1800s sort Ooh. of thing. Okay. And they, it's basically like they share like own Canadian. Mm. And it, it's really good. I love that. Oh, well, that sounds good. What's yours then? Oh, I do love Doctor Who. Love Doctor Who. Um, I also, yes. yeah. Um, I also really love a lot of comedies like Parks and Rec. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? I don't know if you no, have. No, he keeps telling me to watch it. And we I need to. Going, yeah, I will. And then oh, I just never get round so to it. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's way better than The Office, in yeah, my I mean, opinion. Is that the one I'll be proud of, is it? Yeah. Yeah, is she the one that plays April as yes. in the office? No, that's that's Parks and Rec. I need to watch it. Is she in it all the time? Because I really yeah. like it. Oh, she's the main character, yeah. Okay, I'll watch she's it. She's actually, like, m- probably my favourite. Yeah, I like it. I, just I love like... Ron Swanson as well. Like, he's I just so really straight yeah. and moody and stubborn. Blunt. Yeah. And, like, he will only eat meat. And, like, that's kind of it. Like, it's so <laughs> funny. It's so funny. Like, that is a personality straight. straight trait of his like he, yeah he hides bacon in in the office ceiling I at one I point <laughs> i keep saying i need to watch it and i will i will watch it it's so funny yeah it's all mundane stuff but hilarious yeah the best like i love it that's probably one of my like top three tv shows Ooh. and lately i've also been loving our flag means death which you got me on to yeah, because yeah. I, have, I still haven't watched it. <laughs> what? Yeah, but you need me to watch it. No, my friend Kate, right, she loved yeah. our flag means death. And she kept saying, watch it, watch it, watch it. And I'm like, I will, I will, I will. And then I told you that Kate had told me about mm. the show that our flag means death. Yeah. And then I still haven't watched it. But I will tell her that you watched it because I recommended it. Oh, it's... She recommended it. It's so good. It's by Taika Waititi. Yeah. Um, and... 
can't remember his name now. I know what you mean. He's but... on that advert, isn't he? And he plays um oh, no. I know his yeah. face. He's in other stuff that he I've is. seen. He's in that They're advert. both new from New Zealand. Yeah. And you can tell they both really work together on it a lot and like the humor in it is very Taika because yeah. we know Taika from Marvel like yeah. he's Korg in Marvel he's directed he's you know quite a few Marvel things yeah. I think he directed Love and Thunder yeah he directed fun Ragnarok. fact he was also Ragnarok, Ragnarok. 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 we got there a... yeah that was a romp that wasn't it Ragnarok. loved it that's my favorite I think that's like I'd say my second favorite Marvel I think Marvel. it's my first Ooh, I think so. Is it? I loved it. I thought the strange I first from beginning to end. Yeah, just yeah. Amazing, that fun, scene. great. Oh, brilliant! You know, if I could critique it, I'd just say maybe more Loki. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I love Loki. I love Loki. Yeah, I love Loki. But, but um, fun fact about Taika: he actually voiced the goats in um, the last four film. The Did screaming you? goats. He voiced He that. voiced the goats. He what directed it and he voiced the goats. You know those goats that were just like <laughs> that was That was him. Yeah. <laughs> he also um writes and is also in um What We Do in the Shadows, which I is one of my ultimate favourites. Is that what Alex Finson's in? No, that's Discovery of Witches. Okay. Which is also a favourite of mine. Yeah, I remember you're talking about them too. What yeah. Point, yeah. What We Do in the Shadows is a comedy about vampires who live in um, Staten Island in Manhattan and they just kind of get up to no good. They don't really like socialise or like go into like the modern world. They're stuck in their ways so they still dress like they're in the 1800s or whatever, <laughs> you know, like they're, yeah. they're not getting with the times. And they have a um, familiar called Guillermo who um, kind of just does all the dirty work for them looks after them and all that but he's human wanting to become uh, a vampire eventually yeah. and uh, they treat him like absolute crap Aww. but he kind of just puts up with it because he thinks it'll be worth it in the end yeah so but it's so funny like the little nuances and everything in it is hilarious and then because they're unfamiliar with the world still because they haven't really gone out of their house that much they just yeah. kind of keep to themselves when they do go out into the world, they're fascinated by things, and yeah. it's just so funny. So ultimately, I would say, if you're going to watch any of them, watch that. that one, I think you'd like the most. Okay, and then it's a bit supernatural witches, as well. I love witches. Yeah, um, witches, and it's got Alex King Kingston in it, and Alex then Kingston, she's my favorite. Yeah, it, well, it, one of my favorite. It's a good show. It's got a lot of magic in it, mischief in it. Yeah, it's it's good, and then I also really like. The Vampire Diaries as well. Yeah. You got the didn't Paul wave at your own point. Is it Paul or Wesley or whatever his name Paul is? and Ian. Ian Comic Con. I was so close. <laughs> so close to getting an in interview with them. But they were just But they just Ian. couldn't. They were overbooked. But, but they did say, like, oh, I'm so sorry, we can't. And oh, like gave me a little wave. That was amazing. And I was like, you know what? I'll take that. That's enough. Oh, I That's another... enough for me. Favorite TV show, Criminal Minds. I've and never the, seen that. Criminal Minds is my comfort show. Doctor is my comfort show when I'm very happy. Mm. When I feel a bit stressed and depressed, I watch Criminal Minds. Which stressed and depressed. Which is <laughs> like flipped around. But you know, because Criminal Minds, if you've watched it, it's about a behavioral analysis unit. Yeah. So. They mm. profile serial killers and killers and murders Ooh. and things like that. And that sounds right up my street. Honestly, it's so good. <laughs> and Dr. Spencer Reed is just perfect. Like, okay, I'm 24 7 in my Dr. Spencer Reed yeah. era, right? But honestly, um, you love it, it is really good. So, it is about murder and you know, them finding serial killers, yeah. finding people, you know profiling what the serial killer be like what they do how they come across why they started doing it yeah and i watch mm -hmm. that when i feel a bit stressed and overwhelmed you know what though that's a vibe i completely nice. understand nice. i love true crime yeah. documentaries i, I love dramas true, true crime yeah um I mean, one of my favorite podcasts is True Crime and Cocktails. Yeah. Shout out to them. They inspired yeah, us to do out. this, actually, because we yeah. will be covering some true crime. Yeah. 
Um, and that's the main reason why I wanted to do a podcast. And then you also brought up about TV yeah. and film reviews, and we've merged a few different ideas to create Cozy Corner. Yeah, we have. But the main reason that I wanted to do a podcast is because of true crime and my passion for unearth in those cases yeah. so yeah i'll have to try and check that one else because yeah. it, it sounds Honestly, good yeah, it's really good it's on Pamela Puss and mm. disney Puss. um yeah what's gonna say that no tv shows <laughs> um, talk about true crown docs yes what's your favorite true crown doc oh have you watched um abducted in plain sight yes. on netflix that was a How weird one but you, have you seen the cecil hotel yes i love them i think that one's my favorite you know yeah i love it because it it, it combines like, a lot of different you know things yeah. as well like it was people's stories it was the hotel's perspective yeah the and then the yeah the history of it but also it talked a bit about richard R richard Ramirez, yeah. you know, the night stalker, and how he was involved. Exactly. And, and one of the highest yeah. of Elisa Lam. Yes, you know, that was really obviously the main it. focus yeah. of that documentary. I feel like we've got our own Cecil Hotel in Liverpool, though, yeah. haven't we? You know, we're, I think we all know where is. we're talking like, about. You know, you know, honestly. <laughs> But, um, Imagine a podcast a in there. Oh, vlogcast at uh, oh. Liverpool's own Cecil Hotel. Yeah. Oh, should we do a vlogcast or ghost hunt vlogcast? Right. You need to let us know in the comments if you yeah. want to see that. We'll do a ghost hunt vlogcast. Oh, God. I yeah. <laughs> You're so bored. I feel like that we just wouldn't find anything, but we'd have a laugh. Yeah, we would. It'd be one of them where we get scared of the slightest thing, but I love it. And then just stay in our room. And then I'd get really <laughs> depressed and angry that I didn't find any ghosts yeah. to say hello to me. We do a Ouija board. Look, I'm not messing around with any Ouija boards. I draw the line at Ouija oh, boards. Ouija I don't board. mess with that. Don't mess with it. It's no, you're inviting too many bad spirits. Okay, we won't do a Ouija we board. We won't mess with Ouija we'll boards. We'll do an EVP. Is I'm okay EVP? with that. I'm okay with that. We'll but a again. Ouija board, I feel like you cross the line okay. and you might not return from it. Oh, well, you got to tell me all about that. No, it wasn't a good Because you wasn't. mentioned it once, but you never went into detail. Like, okay. we just didn't talk I'll about tell it. tell you about it, guys, right? We had a ghost hunt in the club. And that I should do. These two people. Is it this where you work? Yes. In the club where you work? Okay. Where I work, we just call the club. Yeah. Anyway, these two people that were there, they wasn't taking it serious. They literally was like, should we do a Ouija board? And I was like, yeah. So I went with them and they basically was like, do you hate anyone here in this room? And they were like basically turning it to like point at me because I work there. And then they made it like spell out a swear word, which I'm not going to say because I actually despise that word. And then do you were Oh, like, I think I know what word. Vision. You, you, I told you, didn't I? Yeah, I know what word. Yeah, and <laughs> I wish it wasn't a good experience, guys. It wasn't. And then I was just really upset that I didn't find any ghosts in the club. Yeah. I was. I was just like, no, because my fr two friends, Kate and Kaz, they came to the um, mm. ghost hunt, and I was just really upset that we didn't find any ghosts in the club. But was, then, was there anything there that like made you think this could be real? Or did it just not yeah. feel? It was one thing that like Kate's got numeral number nine, mm. uh, number yeah number nine for Dominic Carvin Lewin, one of her it's her favorite footballer from Everton, and it come up nine and it come up Kate and Malice and like do you know when it spits out random words that the ghosts say. Um. But then again, I don't know. I'm I'm a bit skeptic. I was, yeah. and I'm like, is that real? Is it not? I mean, we do love watching um, Ryan and Shane from Watcher mm. Entertainment on YouTube. They used to be at BuzzFeed, and then they branched yeah. out, did their own stuff. They do a great show called Ghost Files. Mm. We love watching that. Um, so I feel like we, we can often be a combo of both of them, though, can't we? Like, we're both sceptical, but at the same time, yeah. we're terrified of ghosts yeah, <laughs> but we also want to communicate like, with them we're like ryan in a sense that like we want to believe we want to see yes we believe in all that kind of thing but then like, and we're also scared of it at the same time yeah but yeah. kind of like shane is in the fact that 
to truly believe i need to see something yeah we need the evidence that's it show us the proof and then like we'll believe you but yeah i mean we are we are like a little combo of those two i love watching this stuff though i mean like oh so good and puppet history puppet history is so good that needs to come back soon yes because i i need it the professor honestly if you don't check out watcher check out watcher they're so good so much so good but i've got a little game if we want to play that just to round off this episode okay so it's called this or that so it helps our new viewers um get to know us a little bit more okay so this or that abby i'll let you answer first then i'll answer okay Playlists or podcasts? Oh, okay. Playlists, even though we're doing a podcast. <laughs> no, I knew Playlists. that you were going to say that. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, it's podcasts. I mean, I okay. I listen to so many podcasts: yeah. True Crime and Cocktails, Morbid, um, Dear Hank and John, um, Tay Does Life, who I'm friends with. She's yeah, amazing. Um, God, there's so many podcasts. That many listen to. So many. You can sit with us. Like the tripod as well. Actually, the tripod has inspired an element of our podcast, okay. doesn't it? Well, I told you about this. You don't really watch them, but I've told you about this. I they go out and about. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so like in their the car, yeah. the drive through. They recently went to a zoo, okay. and it was an abandoned zoo. And they walked around, did a podcast there. And yeah, that's like inspired me to talk to you and ask you well should we do yeah something like that but like they they call like it a um a plug a yeah. podcast vlog i like the term vlogcast so uh, yeah. we did kind of steal that but we made it our own yeah by saying vlogcast yeah so shoes or slippers 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 yeah i mean if you're at home what you yeah, know like no shoes, no pork or beef oh, okay beef I really like pigs. Yeah. <laughs> pigs are one of my favourite animals. Aww. Um, I, yeah, I prefer beef, I think. Depending on the dish, though. Yeah. You know? I really like gammon, though. Um, oh, no. I can take it or leave it. Yeah. You know? Fruits or vegetables? Veggies. I'm more of a vegetable person. Yeah, often veggies. fruit. This is going to sound weird, but often it's too sweet. Yeah. Or it's like really tart like yeah like sour like strawberries i'm like oh yeah i'm just like not into it i can only eat a little bit yeah or, and then my tongue starts to swell really yeah it's so annoying and it That's stings yeah i can eat like, like four allergic. pieces and then i'm all right yeah. apparently it's like a really mild allergic reaction yeah. um sometimes i do just still keep going because i'm like <laughs> i'm enjoying this pineapple <laughs> Um, same with kiwi though, I can't eat kiwi. Mm. I, know. I like kiwi. I actually do like kiwi, oh. but I can't eat it. Um, I do like watermelon though. I, I don't like watermelon. <laughs> See, my veggie person. But yeah, I prefer like things like broccoli. Yeah, I like broccoli, asparagus. <laughs> asparagus? Asparagus. <laughs> that, that, that all makes sense yeah, that later. Makes sense. That, that, um, yeah. We talk about asparagus in another Very episode. You're so passionate about asparagus. I, was, I didn't that. even know that about you. I thought you don't even eat asparagus like it's there. But when I was telling but you, you was, I was very like, was so, this is what you need to it do. It was like you've been a yeah. culinary chef who's dedicated yeah, their life to asparagus. Was, definitely, like a grew up on an asparagus but, farm or something. <laughs> right, cats or dogs? Cats. That was quick. That You just knew instantly. I three cats. Yeah, to be and fair. I've got a dog at yeah. I've got three cats, one with a song, obviously, I've got a regular song from Doctor, one called Poppy, who's a boy, and one called Pixie. So Poppy's a boy? Yeah. I always thought Poppy Poppy was a girl. Well, then we called the Poppy, and when we thought she was a girl, yeah, and then we found things that proved she wasn't a girl. I mean, (laughs) gender's a construct. That's it. Poppy wants to be Poppy, she can. Yeah, Poppy can Poppy. Poppy's Poppy. Um... Oh, I, love dogs. I would say dogs just because I've had a dog yeah. before, Millie. Um, and 
I was close with my auntie's dog. Like, I haven't really been around cats as much. Yeah. So, I'd say dogs. Summer or winter? Winter. Neither for me. Really? Autumn. Oh, I love autumn. I love winter only because... That's right, my second favourite yeah, season. Do you know why? Because I love winter. Being at home, rain's pouring. I'm yes. in bed with yes. blankets, hot chocolate or a cup of tea. The cosy vibes. Yeah, cosy vibes. Yes. All about. I hate the way people complain about the cold weather. It's like, shut up. Go put a, a blanket on and a cardigan. Put a movie on and I just get cosy. The person that's like, I'm cold. Actually, yeah. No, but you, you're um, cold because you don't dress properly for the I'm weather. Cold because I've got a you new don't, year. You don't. <laughs> I'm cold yes. because I've got really bad in New Year. Um, but you're not complaining about the weather. You're complaining I'm like, I'm weather. cold. You know, that's you different. You blog once about Shiverpool and yes. described me mm-hmm. as my always cold whatever the weather friend. Oh, yeah, always too cold no matter the weather friend. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you are. You to be fair, I... <laughs> I never am usually the right temperature. Right now, it's a miracle. I'm actually all right. I can tell probably. I honestly feel my hands, though. I can put the heat off, you know. <laughs> honestly, I feel fine. Let me put... The you are freezing. Honestly, the rest of my body's fine. Like, if you feel my arms... Right, no, I'm putting the heat <laughs> off. I don't believe you. Honestly, yeah. feel my arms if I feel my hands. If I feel my hands. Do there. you not have, like, Raynards or something? That's Raynards. Where... You don't have good circulation. I have it, you know, in your hands. Oh, probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah, else. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you've got like Raynards or something. Well, I've put the heating up a little bit. Okay. Um, because you are freezing. I'm always cold when I have You are? I mean, it's so it's getting out of hand now. It's so warm and cozy. It is yeah. warm and cozy, but I don't like the temperature, temperature of those hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't. They're really cold, <laughs> and normally I'm the one who's cold. Yeah, but like, I feel like when it's cold outside, you know, it encourages you to wrap up and get cozy and all no, that. Not me. I don't like coats. <laughs> not me. I'm not a. I'm not a dress. I've only just started wearing gloves recently. I know. Just that today. Cold. I'm just. I don't like to be too. Oh, don't like to be too like me. Mm, yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I like to wear free like jackets like this. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we've shared that with our audience. Yeah. I'm glad that they knew I that about you. Coats. She doesn't like coats. Yeah. I I'm quite the fan of coats. Yeah. I, I like coats. I like cardigans. Yeah. Um, I love this is my new cozy cardigan I got it the That's other day. Nice. I like it. It's like colour blocking. Like it's got Nice colours. I, yeah. I think it's cosy. Yeah, <laughs> um, it does. If you've noticed, I'm getting into the colour beige more. Yeah, you are. Beige headband. Yeah. Beige cardigan. cardigan. Beige blanket. Beige blanket. I do have beige pants on as well. Yeah. Beige. Just a beige girl. <laughs> beige. Um. So getting back to this, cookies okay. or crisps? Crisps. Yeah, I think I, I think crisps more than snack. cookies. Like cookies, mm, I don't want them all the time. No. But crisps, yeah. Yeah, crisps are a go-to. So fizzy drinks or juice? Fizzy. Yeah. I've got to have fizzy. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, Mhm. That's it. Well, on the topic. Of fizzy drinks, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Now you do have a Diet Coke, and I've got a Pepsi Max yeah, here. It tells. I honestly don't really care whether it's Coke or Pepsi. I'm not bothered. Do you know what? I like a Diet Coke, but Pepsi Max is my probably my favorite. I feel like Coke Cherry yeah. is bad. I don't like it. I like the same, but, you know, but not the normal. Yeah, but you know, like a Pepsi Max Cherry. Yeah. Amazing flavor. I don't like the raspberry one though, but the cherry no. one is standard. Yeah. But like Coke Cherry, whenever I've had that, it just doesn't taste nice. Yeah. It tastes like chemicals. Yeah. But then getting the Pepsi Max Cherry, it actually tastes nice. Yeah, so if I want like a cherry drink, I go for Pepsi. And then like when I just want normal like Coke or something, I'll go for like a Diet Coke. But I'm not bothered if like I was in a restaurant and they were like, no, oh, we've only got Pepsi. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. 
Yeah. They're basically the same. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, um, small town or big city? Small town. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, big city. Yeah. I'd love to live in a cottage in a little village. Oh, that's so cute. I would love that. But I, I want to be with her people. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I, I want to be like where all the stuff is happening. Yeah. You know, especially for like events and that like yeah i, I just I want like to be where the things are happening there. i just feel like i want to live in a small little cottage mm. in a little village that's why i work in a village see i'd just be thinking though yeah. this seems like a place where a true crime documentary would take place because yeah. you're in the middle of nowhere yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, Which is have like you to, seen that um as long as i get wiped out have you seen that um sophie in west cork i think it was oh no I like she was in the middle of nowhere yeah i think so i think that's what we she was in the middle of nowhere and obviously she gets killed and like it's very obvious who did it yeah. very obvious but they got, i haven't really got anything on them yeah, but um, because it is on we watch list it's good i forgot what it's called but it's something like sophie west cork whatever yeah i don't know something like that um but yeah it it's a good one that yeah but it's put me off living anywhere in the middle of nowhere because like where she was she was so far from anyone yeah. she could have been screaming her head off Never no one heard. would have heard yeah so that's what puts me off like yeah, living in the cottage in the middle you're just like it's fine it's fine <laughs> i don't fight them <laughs> oh god right just let me finish watching this true crime documentary yeah. right which is probably what you're gonna be on next week and then you, then you can kill me yeah. <laughs> um call or text text if you call text me, yeah no, who the hell calls anymore no it's like anyone if i ever call you i'm dying Oh yeah, no, I'm I would actually if my house yeah. is burning down and I'm in it. If you called me, I would actually answer. Yeah. Because you don't call me. So no, I would no. know this is emergent. Yeah. It's either she's dying or someone yeah. close to you is dying, or you're about to like yeah. meet you no know, meet someone who's like important to us. So yeah. like David Tennant is saying hi to you right now and yes, you've got to and tell me inconsolable. then you know it's one of those two yeah, scenarios I'll just text. yeah i never ever call no no whoever like even if it's like family yeah. me mum and dad yeah i know it'll just be like hi i'm at the shops blah blah yeah. blah but if like someone rings me i'm just gonna watch it i'm just gonna be like yeah. why why are you calling me it's like, just I, text yeah. me please. i saw this tweet when scream come off the film and it said I'd always survive ghost face because I never had to go exactly. through it. And I was like, oh my God. I, I mean, mean, I just would, I just, I never answered the phone. Yeah. No, never. I mean, there's only you, me, mom, my dad, my friend Louisa. Yeah. That's kind of it. That's it. I won't really. I've never answered the phone. Unless I'm expecting like a job interview call. Yeah. Then I know I'm expecting it. And that's happened before where like, I'm like, oh, this must be it, the job into you and I answer it. And then it was like some sort of scam thing. And I was like, oh. yeah, honestly, they caught me. Like, the you know? When the scams come, tell them I've passed away. It's like so bad. But no, it's like energy. It's so bad. I'm like, oh, I'm really sorry. She's passed away yesterday. And they go, oh, I'm really sorry. They want to phone back. I'm like, yeah, okay, fair. That's okay, fair. Oh my God. Yeah. But what if it was like the actual energy company? If I was more. <laughs> oh god right let's see um go on comedy or horror horror yeah, good you comedy. know i'm a big horror yeah. fan yeah no you are you are i'm a big horror fan mm. beer or wine beer Neither. i like a gin. wine a wine or soda gin like gin yeah I like a gin as well. Or a cocktail. A um, waffle or pancake? Or oh, pancake. Which you're going to It depends. Waffles when done well. Yeah. Amazing. I feel like waffles, yeah. they get too much. They can get hard as well. Really. I mean, like, I'm yeah. so sorry that sounded really... <laughs> My apologies. But um, I know what you mean. But no, they can 
become too solid to the point where it's like that's inedible yeah, now i can't eat that now like it's uncomfortable to eat yeah. it. <laughs> so pancakes if the waffles were crap yeah that's my answer rain or snow rain rain but only when oh, I'm in my house, not I love out, rain. And I it and be like, I'm sick. Yeah, if you're out in it, it's awful. Yeah. Now, this is a controversial one. Oh, okay. What do you say? What What do you call the meal in the middle of the day? In the middle, like lunch. Lunch, yeah. Okay. So breakfast, lunch, and tea. Some people yeah. will call it breakfast. Dinner, Dinner. Tea. tea, yeah. Breakfast, lunch, and tea, I call it. I do a completely different one. Okay. I do breakfast, yeah. sometimes brunch, you know, whichever. Lunch, yeah. And then I would say dinner. Dinner. For, like, having me dinner. For tea. Oh, I would you know, say, yeah. I would say dinner for uh -huh. the meal in the evening. Yeah, that is controversial. Like, again, yeah. you know. Like sometimes I might use it interchangeably as yeah. like, what are we having for tea? What's for dinner? You know, yeah. but I don't say dinner meaning like afternoon, like yeah. you know, middle of the day. Yeah, no, I get that. But you know what? This gets even more confusing. This is like a deep dive conspiracy. This right? Yeah. In school, we called it's it dinner time. Yeah. But then there's. It's weird. I've also heard people call it lunchtime. Yeah, or, or, right, then there's dinner ladies, but I've also heard lunch, lunch ladies. ladies yeah. What were we supposed to? Ladies, but I used to put dinner ladies and lunchtime. That's what it was in our school. It was all over the place in mine. Yeah. Like, it was literally, I, I, I don't know what to call it. I don't know even what to, uh, answer yeah. to give. What do you guys call it? It's crazy. Yeah. But last one, Go on. um, pizza or pasta? Pizza. You know what? I don't know. Because I only really like Domino's pizza. I like Domino's pizza because they do a nice vegan cheese, actually. I'll have to try that. Yeah. Got the best together. Very nice. Yeah. Um, I do love Domino's pizza, but I'm fussy with pizza. I don't like bad pizza. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. If you have a bad I pizza, hate store bought that. pizza. Um, no, I can't have like a frozen pizza. No, I have to hate wait it. Till it defrosts. I can't put a frozen pizza in the oven. I it's just, I can't pizza. stand. Yeah. Any kind of store bought pizza, I've never enjoyed one. I've only enjoyed like a Domino's pizza or one when I was like in on holiday in Spain. I had a pizza, and it's really nice. Okay. And now I can it's never have the, that pizza it's again. It's the things that are far away that you can't. Yeah. Have to turn off pizza. It was just margarita. Yeah. But it was the best margarita yeah. pizza I've ever had. So yeah. Um, I think that just yeah. about does it for the Get to Know Us episode. I think. Yeah. I hope you've got yeah. to know us enough. I feel like yeah. we have. We have went we've... on and told that, yeah, everything yeah. we literally like. Think, I think you, <laughs> you probably know us a lot better yeah. than what you did at the beginning. So, yeah. yeah um, if you enjoyed this episode, let us know. Um, and we will see you on the next one where... I believe that this next one is going to be Chinese New Year. Yeah. That's coming out after this. Um, and then further down the line, we're going to be doing some true crime. Yeah. And spooky time. Uh, Doctor and Doctor yes, Doctor we've got Doctor Who coming up and Loki. Loki. We're going to be deep diving into those. Yeah. So stay tuned, keep watching, and stay, stay cozy. cozy.